Yo, 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 what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Mace and today I'm just going to show you a couple of paintings that I've done over the past few months. Uh, it was kind of a whim. Uh, I did it on a whim. I bought some panels and a little bit of acrylic paint and I decided I was just going to paint for fun. See if I uh, could uh, get my creative juices going per se and uh, for a little bit of catharsis. Uh, I like creating things. Um, I may not be the best at it, but it's fun, right? So anyways, uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because on that last uh, Angelina reaction, I held up two paintings. Uh, one was this one right there. So a closer look for you. Hope the light doesn't spoil it. And this one. So basically this one here was in fact the one that I did. And this one here was the one my girlfriend did. So not exactly sure what's going on in these paintings. This one, I started with the idea of the sort of silhouette of a human head. I know it, it almost looks like one of those, it looks like one of those stone heads. Um, I can't remember where they're from in the world. And my girlfriend's was sort of an abstract, I think it started off as a cat, um, probably Lucy, the cat in the background there. And uh, you can see colors are almost similar because we were running out of paint. Um, but anyways, this I titled Music and History. This one, I don't think she put a title on it yet. Um, but anyways, that's those two. And we'll get on to the next one. We'll just go through. There's not very many. This was like three, four months ago. Maybe even more when I first uh, brought a few panels home just for fun. It was purely for fun. Just something to do on a day off. Um... So this is another one I did. Um, I didn't title this one, but um, as you can see, we have this sort of sphere, this red sphere at the bottom, and it's looking at Earth from a, uh, a large distance, and that's up to interpretation uh, what that sphere is. I think I was inspired a little bit by science fiction films. Um, it could be like Saturn or not Saturn but Mars maybe but it could also be an alien life form uh, something an abstraction of what we think the universe is even and uh, that was just for fun so kind of rudimentary earth not a hyper amount of detail but if you look at it in a sort of fuzzy eye view uh, I think it's kind of interesting so that's that one what do we got next um, these are the first ones my girlfriend did uh, I left her here home alone one day, home alone, like she's like, yeah, anyways, I was working one day, and she's like, what should I do, I'm kind of bored, and I'm like, just paint, paint a couple things, so I think this is the first one she did, um, it's sort of uh, a tribute to my cat Lucy, as you can see back there being lazy right here, right here, where my thumb is, that's Lucy, so yeah, that's that, it's just a small, small panel, um, this was the second one she did, this is the second one May did, it's kind of a you know, a landscape silhouette with some, a couple of houses and some trees and uh, actually some beautiful color work, color work on the sunset, I think. I, I think it's kind of, um, it's kind of interesting depending on how you look at it. The coloring there is quite beautiful. I like it. I like that one. Uh, this was actually the very first little painting I did. Uh, I was inspired by 2001 A Space Odyssey, I believe. This was supposed to be a sort of monolith type of thing. Um, but I think when I started doing it, I didn't know what I was doing on the bottom. So it's a bunch of extractions there, uh, abstractions. This is supposed to be 7 billion, I believe. The 7 and then 7 billion. We have some graphs here. The red line, that can speak to sort of the red line as they use it in uh, different sociological um, explorations of different things. I also felt that this was a portal. Um, you know, it's sitting in this landscape. We have the sunset or this sort of uh, the sky in the background. And then this is the portal looking into, you know, another dimension. And then you have a small planet sitting right there, way, way in the distance, right? If you kind of look at it fuzzy. So that's that one. I don't know if I titled that one or not. This one was just terrible, honestly. This was just, this was just bad. <laughs> I do not know which way it goes even. I, I, I don't know. Um, the orange and the blue kind of remind me of a particular 
famous painting. I, I can't remember which artist did that. Um, but you have a bunch of little men in the middle. And uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on in that one. That one was what I would classify as an amateur painting. I mean, these are all amateur paintings. But here's another amateur abstract. Don't know what's going on here. We have a sort of either a water source or an ocean on the top or a sky with some strange clouds. Uh, a field of green maybe in the beginning or in the middle and then on the bottom it's kind of like a fractured um, desert land you know uh, that very very dry surface or or it's tunnels or who knows it's kind of spidery it's also not not that great but anyways uh, this one is probably my favorite painting that any of us have done may did this one i think it was quite beautiful um and she only did this, it was like her first larger panel, and I don't even have the proper equipment, and you have this couple standing there, you know, holding hands, and what's going on here? Are they about to, you know, is this their final moments? Is the earth, you know, exploding? Is there a giant volcano behind them? We have this green tree as well. What does that symbolize? Symbolize life? Does it symbolize new beginnings? Does it symbolize humanity? Um, so we have this couple with no faces, and uh, I feel some beautiful costume work there. Um, and they're kind of just embraced, either awaiting their doom. Maybe there's a big tidal wave coming to wipe them away. Maybe there's a, uh, a giant asteroid has hit the Earth. So it, I feel that it's a, at once it has the hope of the tree, the tree of life, and then the hope of love, the endurance of love with this couple sort of standing there embraced. Uh, in this landscape of sort of fire and uh, lava. So that's interesting. This is also one of my worst right here, and that's the last one. So if you're still here watching, uh, I do not know what was going on here. Dude. Yo. Like, trust... I don't know what I was thinking here, but uh, anyways, it's like a face in red, and then it's, is that supposed to be blood, trust? Is this supposed to be something about the betrayal of, I don't know, I don't know. It's open to interpretation. <laughs> anyways, that is those paintings, and uh, let's get to an outro for this video, the painting introduction. Of course, I can't rap these days. I keep screwing up all my raps. So let me grab some actual lyrics. It's hard to read uh, rapped, you know, it's hard to read lyrics on a freestyle song and uh, actually make it sound half decent. It's very, very hard. So let's do this and I'll let you guys go. Let me know what you think of those silly paintings. It's just for fun. I don't think I'm gonna make a living off being a painter. So simmer down, simmer down. All right, let's do it. Let's find a track. Okay. Cherish every single second, every single solitary, scary second. You should respect them, treat them with importance. The important moments are not chance, but they are your circumstance Of our lives, of our struggle, of our cries, of our lies We must recognize that being untruthful is ultimately useless Not useful, no matter how cruel the tools try to treat you They'll never defeat you, everyone is equal regardless of how they treat you Forgive and forget, it's hard, but don't fret The moments of loneliness will come to an end Cherish your friends, never be afraid to be embarrassed again We inherit the love that is eternal Putting down a scribe or a journal Continue to Egypt, go back to the first ones Understand that people have even worshipped the son The mother, the father of all creation Wait with hope that every single nation Will learn love and begin to yearn for the moments To get your heart beaten, to get your heart beaten To get your heart beaten, to get your heart beaten to get your heart beating, to get your heart beating, so just hold my hand.
As we walk through these rhythms The rhythms make you feel that you are living As we walk through these rhythms The rhythms make you feel like you are living Cherish every single thing that you were given Especially your family And your family is not always blood Your family is who has your best interests in mind And treat you with respect Alright, peace out everybody Have a wonderful day, wonderful evening And yeah, whatever